Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. If you're new, my name is Tanya Kendall and I like to talk about everything to do with beauty. So I do little reviews here and there and today's video is about Yeah Now products. So basically I want to talk about products that I love and products that I hate. Some of them are going to be um, hair care products, others are going to be makeup, um, skin care and um, even application products. So if you're interested in seeing this video, please stay tuned. started so I have I believe 10 or 11 maybe even 12 products that I want to talk about now most of them are yeah products but there are a few now products in there as well and I want to explain to you why and I also want to remind you that these are products that are either worked really well for me or not and that doesn't mean to say that they're not going to work well for you so give it a go um, see how you go just use this sort of as a little bit of a guideline so um First thing I want to start off with, and to be honest with you, I think that this might cause a little bit of controversy because it's going around the internet, has been a little while now, and um, people absolutely love this, but I don't. And that is the Juno & Co sponge. Um, this little bad boy is very, very unique, and a lot of people absolutely love it. It's very, very fluffy, um, and I've only heard good things about it, so I thought, well, I want to try it for myself so I went and I ordered it and um, there's a few problems now I have very very dry skin and what I found I've tried this so many different ways but what I found with this is when I used it it made my foundation look um, drier than it needed to be now I use dewy foundation every single time um, because I have to because otherwise I'll get crunchy bits everywhere and I currently use the um, Oh no, I've forgotten it. Um, I currently use the EcoTool sponge, and I think that one's absolutely fantastic, and it's really good for the price as well. But this guy was cheaper, and um, even ordering it online, it was cheaper. And um, yeah, what I found was, is when I used it, it um, it sucked all the moisture out of my foundation and left me with sort of like just this powdery, sort of disgusting residue. Um, powder effect I guess uh, left this powdery sort of nastiness all over my skin so um anyway I thought I'd try it with just powder and then I tried it with a um, powder foundation a compact foundation a loose um, powder foundation all of those and it was just it was I hated it I don't have anything good to say about this sponge even cleaning it like I'm not can you see the little bit dirty bits there I have tried to clean this every other way that I would normally clean any other sponge that I have, whether it's with makeup removing oil, which be careful doing that because it can ruin some sponges, um, whether it's just warm soapy water, um, and nothing completely cleans this straight away, so it always looks disgusting. So yeah, I'm not a fan of this one, but that's just me. A lot of people absolutely rave about it, they love it, the price is good, it feels funny, um, like it's... Yeah, it's got great um, edges as you might be able to see there. It's got a flat edge there. It comes to a point. It's got a flat stampy bit. But um, just for me, I, I can't make this work. So, um, yeah, it's a bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. So that is definitely a nah, and I'm not going to be repurchasing this one in the future. Next product I want to talk on the list is a yeah, and that is the Maybelline... Uh, what do you call it? Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink uh, Liquid Lips. So I have five of them. Um, I'm not holding them too well, am I? They're quite bulky, but um, I love every single one of these colours. There's some of them that I can't get away with wearing, and that would be this purple one here. Um, some days, like, this is not an everyday one, but these colours here, I absolutely love these. Um, when you learn how to use these properly, they stay on the lips constantly. Now, if you don't prep your lips properly before using them, they can tend to be um, very drying. They do dry down to a complete mat. There's no transfer, no nothing. Um, and they are very, very difficult to get off. So don't put these on if you plan on taking it off at lunchtime. If you don't have something like a um, makeup removing oil or a glossy lip balm to put over the top to help get that off. Because these, once they set, uh, they, they said that's it it's on you're gonna forget about it when you jump into bed and um, you haven't realized that you haven't taken it off and I absolutely love these um, 
yeah, the formula is absolutely fantastic. But like I said, you've got to be very, very careful when you're putting them on not to put too much product onto, onto your lips. Otherwise, it'll be very, very tacky. No matter how much product you put onto your lips, it is going to be tacky to start off with until it does dry down. Um, so just keep that in mind. But less is more with this product. But I absolutely love 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 these liquid lips i think i have a video somewhere i think i made a review about them if i did i'll leave a little link up in the corner um but yeah the maybelline uh superstay matte inks fantastic and they've got some new colors as well too i think um yeah anyway there's a lot of them and they're fantastic that is definitely a yeah i will buy more of those i have five i want more but um I'm just really, really picky on colours, so. Alright, next product is also a yeah. Now, it's hard for me to compare this to anything other than a drugstore um, because I've only, other, I've only brought drugstore primers. This is not a drugstore primer. This is Too Faced Hangover, uh, Hangover RX uh, or Hangover X. Replenishing Face Primer. This I absolutely love. Now I'm used to using, um, like I said, drugstore primers and um, Dewey drugstore primers and they're okay, but like when you don't have anything else. But when you buy something like this, something that works so much better than the drugstore ones that I've found so far, um, this makes a massive difference to uh, foundation application and, um, and even longevity. And I absolutely love this. Uh, the smell as well. It's kind of like, it's, it's coconutty, but it's like, you know when you smell a rum ball? I don't know if you guys have had rum balls, but oh my god, they're delicious. It's not that nasty um, tanning lotion coconut, it's, it's rum ball coconut. So I absolutely love this. This is, yeah, um, it's a little bit more money than I want to spend on primers, but um, I, what can I say, I love it. So I am going to buy more of this once this is finished. Alright, next product I'm going to talk to you about is a NARS foundation and I received a sample of this. Um, I made an order, I believe it was Mecca, and um, I received this as a bonus and I thought, ooh, and I thought I'd give it a go. And um, there was enough in the little sachet for me to actually try it quite a few times. And um, that is the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. Now if I've got a picture of it, I'll stick it up here so you can have a little looky. I put this on and it was second to none, like I've not tried anything like this before. And um, maybe that's due to my inexperience with foundations, um, like high-end foundations or anything like that. But this made me look fantastic. Like, um, I still had that radiant dewy look, but I didn't look like that I was wearing um, anything. Like it, it, it was, it was definitely full coverage on me, but um, so you didn't see all of my freckles or imperfections or anything like that. But I felt like that um, I just had this blank canvas that didn't look cakey, and uh, I absolutely loved that. I loved the way that it applied. I loved the way that it looked. Um, it lasted really, really well too. And um, yeah, I definitely will buy this one again. Um, this is little sachet that I got so if you get a chance to um, to get this it also came with um, some concealers as well and I tried the concealer and I I wasn't yeah I, I wasn't much of a fan of the concealer so um, I definitely will be buying the NARS uh, radiant longwear foundation again I really really liked that one right a product that I wanted to show you. This is a NAR, and it's the reason why I'm not wearing makeup. So, um, because I want to try this for you and I want to show you, and I don't know if it's going to make that much of a difference, but I have the Manica da Beauty Bloom Volumizing Mascara. So, I received this in a, uh, I think it was a Bella Box, and um, I thought, oh yeah. It's got some beautiful packaging. It's got this twirl kind of packaging. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And I was really, really hoping that I was going to love this. And I think somebody will love this, and just not me. So I want to show you. I mean, I might be able to... I'm not going to do a close-up yet, but I'm just going to... I've got nothing on right now, so I'll give you a little looky. Oh, she's very thick on the stick. The stick itself feels cheap and I have trouble getting the stuff, the product off the actual brush. But um that's what the brush looks like. I might be able to zoom in for you there in a minute. But um yeah there's nothing really special about that. Excuse me and I'll just put this on. Well, what 
I find with this is that although it, I mean it definitely shows up, but for me it doesn't, it's not dramatic enough, like, it's almost like it's just coating what I already have there. Now you're not really going to be able to see that, so I might have to zoom in for you, but I'll do the bottom lashes, maybe you'll be able to see that as well. I think this would be good for like a no makeup makeup day, so you still got something. Now, I'm not saying that you're not going to see this at all. It is there. It's definitely there. And um, when you're looking at face to face, you can definitely see it. Um, but for my liking, I like I like my mascaras to uh, lengthen and volumize. Like I. I like them to look full and longer. Um, I mean, I like to promote my eyes as much as I can. If I could wear just one product, it would be mascara. And um, yeah, I just find that this one, in comparison, I'm not going to be able to. Let me see if I can just come in just a little bit closer for you. Mm, you're not going to be able to tell that much difference. It's just not enough for me. Um, and for the price, I believe that it was like twenty something dollars. $29 American or something. I don't know. If I find the price, I'll put it down here somewhere for you to see. But, um, yeah, now I'm going to feel funny if I've only got one eye. So let me just finish this off. Yeah, so, look, uh, for a minimalist, I think this would be absolutely fantastic. Somebody who doesn't really want somebody to know that they're wearing mascara, but they just want to... It definitely blackens the lashes, and it does give a little tiny bit of volume, I believe, but it doesn't give a hell of a lot of volume. It's just not something that I would definitely reach for, and I definitely wouldn't spend the money on something that doesn't doesn't do much, as far as I'm concerned. And just remember, these are my opinions, so that's a noun for me. I'll never repurchase this, and um, unfortunately, I'd never recommend this to anybody either for the price, so... Mm. Let's move on to the next product. The next product is the oh ColourPop lipstick. Now, one of them I'm going to show you, I believe, is a limited edition, and um, that's from the Disney, the Disney collection. And the other one is a lippy stick. Now, I don't know whether this is a new shade. I don't know whether it's a limited edition, but I'm not necessarily talking about the. Um, the colours but so much the formulas. So the first one I'm going to show you is going to be Belle from the um, the Disney collection. I brought this one because it was the only colour that I liked out of all of them. They had like Ariel and um, I want to say Pocahontas um, and Jasmine and there may be another one there. I'm not... Anastasia? Snow White. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, I'll put a, I'll put something up so you can see. But I got Belle. Now I'm a sucker for Beauty and the Beast. And when I saw Belle there, I was just. I don't know whether I've like manipulated myself into liking this shade because it's Belle shade, or whether I'm just really lucky because I love Belle from Beauty and the Beast, and I love this color. But I don't know. But what I can tell you is I love this formula. I'm not actually sure whether it'll say what formula it is. Let me see. No, it doesn't actually say if, what formula this is. I've got a few different formulas. And um, if I can find that out, I'll, I'll put something up. But I want to show you the colour. I want to show you the application. And I've never really been good at um, putting lipstick on in front of people. So please bear with me. Now, my lips are not in the greatest condition at the moment. I have abused them with products, namely the um, Maybelline uh, lipstick that I was just telling you about. If you don't look after your lips, then <laughs> they're going to be a hot mess if you use that one so frequently. With this here, it almost feels like there is nothing on the lips. Now, I don't know whether this colour suits me or not. Quite frankly, I don't care because I love it that much. But the formula is amazing. I mean, you can feel it going on. It's not going to, like, smudge all over your face like some of these more buttery um, 
formulas, formulas or anything like that, but once it goes on, you almost can't feel it. And I love this, and um, yeah, if they keep it around, if they keep the colour around, even if it's not called Belle anymore, and they just keep the colour around, I probably will purchase this again. But... Alright, moving on. Like I said, this is another Colourpop product, and I haven't been using it for very long. Um, but turns out that I like lippy sticks. So this colour here is Lumiere. I hope I said that right. It's a matte formula, and you can definitely feel that it's a matte formula. Um, but what I like about it, can you see that there? Maybe better. What I like about it is not only the colour, but the way that it goes on. It feels so nice going on in such a precise sort of application because it is so small. So I'll stick it on. Here we go. Now I know for a fact that this shade actually comes in a um, lip lining pencil, so that's a bonus. I was really hoping that it would come in like um, in this kind of a formula. I couldn't find it. I could only find it in the lippy pencil and uh, the lippy stick and the um, lip liner. Um, and I normally would use a lip liner, but I didn't purchase it because, well, my order was too big and I could only afford what I could afford. But maybe next time I may do that. Now this formula definitely is matte. It feels matte. Um, it doesn't look as matte as you would think on. Um, it doesn't dry down, obviously, like the um, Maybelline Matte Inks, but it does feel really, really nice on. I absolutely love the colour, and um, yeah, will I buy this again? I definitely will. I want to get some more shades first, but yes, that's a yeah, and I would definitely purchase that again. I'm going to leave this on because I don't have any more lip products to show you. I probably should have done um, a swatch for you with these guys, but if you go and check out my video, you will definitely see it there. I keep waving around my little... <laughs> Please excuse that. Now, the other product is... Ah, uh, Hask. I don't know if the product is called Hask or Hask, but it is spelt with a H-A-S-K, so I'm going to call it Hask, because as far as I'm concerned, Hask is H-U-S-K, so whatever. This is a hair product, and um, I'm not normally into hair products, and um, my hair doesn't look that great today, so please excuse that, because I haven't been using these products lately, actually. I've been trying to use up some samples that I've had, but I love, love, love these products, and that is the Argan Oil of Morocco um, shampoos and oils and stuff like that. I use that in conjunction with the Hask Argan Oil from Morocco Replenishing Shine Hair Oil, this stuff here. Mm. If you're not going to use this, try this. Um, before trying this, I used to use just regular uh, conditioner in my hair, and um, every single time it would pull my hair down. My hair would look greasy. It was it was an utter mess. It was chaos, and I just thought, well, whatever. You know, there's not much I can do about that. My hair is my hair, right? And then um, somebody recommended this. And I went out and I brought it and I would just put it in the tips of my hair when I'm in the shower or when I just as soon as I get out. And it was a game changer. My hair was longer then. Um, and I brought this and, well, I've only used half of it in, I think, I think it was about, ooh, two Maybe three months I've used half of that. I probably could have used more, but I didn't need to. And um, my hair would fluff up. It was perfect. It was. I just love this stuff. And I really do love the shampoo as well. This one smells really citrusy, like, like oranges and stuff like that. And I, to be honest with you, I don't like oranges, but I don't mind this. But then I thought I would try one of their other types, which is the, um, the keratin, keratin protein. This smells amazing, like, I can't tell you what it smells like, but it smells like lollies, it smells like sugar, it's, it's very, very sweet smelling, but it is so good, it is so good, and um, so once I finish using this um, Argan Oil from Morocco one, I'm actually going to switch to this keratin one, um, purely because I love the smell better. And I mean, they pretty much both do the same thing to my hair, so uh, I'm not worried about that. But I absolutely love those products. I will be purchasing those products again. Um, I don't have anything negative to say about them. So they lather up really well. Um, this lasts forever. And you wouldn't think it. So, I mean, this, I think I paid like four or five dollars for this. They're fantastic. Absolutely love them. So, that definitely is a yeah. So, 
The next product I want to talk about is a face mask and this is the, I don't have it with me so I've already used it and I have made a video about it which will be, uh, yeah, up here somewhere. So that is the Body Shop Mask. This is the Drops of Youth Sheet Mask and I absolutely love it. Um, I've tried quite a few sheet masks and I'm really, really fussy. I want something that's going to be hydrating. I want something that I'm going to feel results, see results. And um, this is going to be my second favourite. Um, my top favourite is the Hydro Bomb from... Yeah, gee, I want to say Ganya? Yeah. Uh, well, I hope I got that right. I'll put a picture here on my top favourite. But the Body Shop one, fantastic. Absolutely loved it. My face felt fantastic when I was using it. Um, it smelled great. The next day, that... The next day is the real, um, what's the word? The results the next day were phenomenal. That's all I can say. Um, it's a brand new product from the Body Shop. Absolutely loved it. Um, you can buy three and get it cheaper. I only brought the one because I wasn't sure if I was going to love it and now I regret it. But I absolutely love the Body Shop mask, uh, sheet mask, the Drops of Youth sheet mask and I will be getting it again. It's the only mask that I do like from the Body Shop. I've tried a lot of their other ones. Um, yeah, they just all dried my face out except for this sheet mask. So I absolutely love it. Fits on the face perfectly. And um, it's 100% biodegradable. It does this cool, they've got this cool little video where it shows you what it ends up looking like. If I can find it, I'll slap it here so you can see. And um, yeah, I will buy it again. And it is a definite yeah, so. Moving on. Ah, uh, serums. My face always needs just that little something else. Like, I can't just get away with using just a moisturiser morning and night. Um, or even just, you know, moisturiser morning and night every, every now and then, like a mask. So, I needed to invest in a serum. And I, I, I brought a few serums. And a lot of them, I just, they just weren't doing it for me. They were tacky. Um, they made me break out in weird kind of splotchy patches. And... I couldn't find anything until I picked up the Ordinary Buffet. I think it's the Buffet? Yeah, the Ordinary Buffet Serum. And I absolutely love this. I use this morning and night um, just before I put on my moisturiser. Um, it's absolutely great. Um, I do go through quite a fair bit of it. And it is a little bit more expensive than some of their other serums. Um, usually their serums are around about like $12, $15. And I want to say this one was in the, like, like the high 20s or the early $30 or something like that. Um, I may have gotten it on special as well. I'm not sure. But I absolutely love that. Like the difference that it makes when I add that to my skincare um, routine is phenomenal. And I will be repurchasing that. That has now become a staple for me. Um, until something better comes along anyway, if something better comes along, but I absolutely love that. I have tried another serum from um, Ordinary and I liked it, but I didn't see any results. And that was the caffeine one that I sort of just patted underneath my eyes. And um, it's supposed to reduce puffiness and all that. I didn't see results. I thought... I thought I did, but I think it may have been a little bit of a placebo effect. I wanted it to work so much that I thought that it was, but then after two weeks of using it, I just didn't see anything, not like the um, buffet serum that I was using, so I just, hmm. So, I guess that would be my nah, but um, yeah, no, definitely I will reorder this Ordinary Serum after I'm finished with it. That's the buffet. It's definitely a year for me, so. Um... I only have one product left to talk about and I don't have them with me because they oh, they frustrated me so bad that I pretty much just frisbeed them across the room. They mmm and that's magnetic lashes. I brought a pair of magnetic lashes. I don't even remember the brand. I just like ooh because I can't get used to gluing lashes on and that is time consuming for me. Like I'm I'm not I'm not that great when it comes to lashes. I can put mascara on, I can make them look fantastic, but I thought, ah, oh, yeah, cool, just ding, ding, it's on, bada bing, bada boom, I can start doing these videos, and, you know, um, no, no. I sat there, and I tried with my hands, and that didn't work, and I tried with this 
magnetic tweezery things and that didn't work and I could never get it right down to the base and where they're supposed to go and it just looks stupid and I hate, 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 hate magnetic lashes unless they can figure something out in the future like magnetic glue that you lay down or something like that and just clips to the glue. Um, I don't know but that, what a stupid product. Um, <laughs> Once again, just my opinion, but I, yeah, me and magnetic lashes, we're not friends. Me and any false lashes are not friends. I so want to be. I love those wispy ones that, um, that I'm always seeing on these ladies and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, no, alas, they're not for me. So I will not be repurchasing any magnetic lashes. Uh, maybe if somebody, um, can figure it out and, I don't know, maybe, maybe, I'll, I'll keep it open. If I can see somebody use them successfully without too much struggle and they get it just like that, then maybe I might try. But so far with these ones that they've come out lately, they're not working for me. So it's definitely a now. I will not be repurchasing them anytime soon. So I mean, that pretty much wraps up everything that I wanted to talk about in my year now episode. Um, have you tried any of these products? Do you like or dislike any of these products? Or is there like, a special way that you know that these products work better so I would love to know just leave a comment below for me and um, yeah if you liked what you saw please go ahead feel free give me a thumbs up it lets other people see my content and um, if you haven't subscribed yet and you'd wish to I make a lot more videos I'm particularly fond of making empty videos and um, I also do Bella Box so if you're interested in that which is an Australian New Zealand beauty um, subscription box and um, yeah I don't make a hell of a lot of videos, I do want to make more, so, but if you are going to subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell, um, that'll give you a notification every single time that I do upload, so you don't miss anything, and thank you so much guys for coming and sticking around and watching until the end of the video, so I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye!